All right, in this video, we're gonna go over the settings tab. Start off to access the settings tab. All you have to do is click the little gear icon on the left side. First thing you'll see is quick task defaults. So this is where you input all your quick task settings. And what this means is anytime you create a quick task from the built-in monitor that's connected to Solius's Shopify monitors, or if your cook group supports Prism quick tasking on their Shopify monitors, it will use these settings. So to start off, we have timeout delay and monitor delay. These are really dependent on how many proxies you have and also how many tasks that you are quick tasking. So for this video, we will just do the classic 3000, 4000 millisecond delays. Next we have sizes. You can input a single size or you can choose a range of sizes. So let's say I want a quick task for all just base sizes. That's how you do it. Next we have proxy list and this is where you choose which default proxy list that the quick task is going to use. Next we have the profile selection. So if I wanted to just quick task for only my debit profile, that's how I do it. Or I have the option to use profile group. So I created a profile group earlier called personal cards. This has all my credit cards and privacy cards. So I believe they there are 11 profiles in total in this group. So if I were to quick task, it would actually create 11 individual tasks, um, which is one per profile in that profile group. Next, we can see our user information right here. Um, for this video, obviously, I have blocked it out. And you can also see when you were billed last. To the right of it, we have the ability to choose a default shipping rate or default login for whatever site we want. So let's say um, for Bodega, I want to use a specific uh, shipping rate that I've already pre-made and I want to use a login that I already have. And all I have to do is then click add login pair. Cool. So anytime I quick task and it is a Bodega product, it will use the default Bodega shipping rate and also use the uh, login that I inputted here. Below it, we have the Discord webhook. So this is where you can um, enter your webhook and anytime you successfully check out or if you choose this little feature, which is webhook on failure, um, it will show you anytime your card gets declined or um, for any reason your task doesn't go through as well. Now let's take a look up top. So we have uh, the export button right here. So let's say um, you are moving from a local PC and you want to put you want to run Prism for a drop on your server, you can go ahead and export all your settings. And what this actually does is it will export your settings, proxies, billing profiles, and even all the tasks you created, it will export all that information. So it's super useful. And then to the right of it, we also have the import. So first thing you would do is obviously export everything, it creates a file, then when you move to your server, just import that file back in and it's like you never actually change computers. Then we have logs. If you ever want to view your logs, you just click on this button and it will show you where your logs are kept and you can open that file. Next we have clear cookies. So this clears basically all the information in your CAPTCHA. Um, so basically if you have a proxy set for CAPTCHA window one and you're logged into your Gmail, if you click this, it will clear all that information and you can start all over. And finally, we have the deactivate button. If you are ever, um, if you ever need to deactivate Prism, you can go ahead and click this button, or you can always deactivate from the actual dashboard website. All right, guys, and that is your little tutorial on the settings page.